Hello, how are you, people? I'm fine. I'm going to do another let's play. What's our prize? Hooray! <laughs> well, actually not. But anyways, I'm going to do one of my all-time favorites. And surprisingly, it's not Mega Man 2, but it's Mega Man anyways. So, what's so special about Mega Man? About this one? Everyone knows it, everyone knows it created a great game. Also, it's guilty for having one of the worst box art ever in the time of video games. In the history of video games, it's one of the worst box art ever. I warned you, it was awful. But anyways, the box sword aside, this is a fucking game that's so awesome, that's so great. It might have some issues, but it's very awesome. From the music, the graphics, to everything, it's just awesome. Anyway, so let's start this with against Kung Fu Cutman. Kung Fu Cutman! Bring it on, bitch. Mega Man, well as here you can shot, jump, and, and menu with where is your weapon, but we haven't defeated the robot master yet. And unlike, this is the first and, well, this is the only Mega Man that actually uses a score point. We don't know why, maybe because you're awesome, collecting points and whatever, but after, as you know, it was a scrap it later, we don't know why, but Actually, this game doesn't save scores, so it's kinda like useless to have a score, but eh, it's fancy. It works. Ah, fuck. Also, another thing is that if you have played more game Mega Man games, Mega Man here feels a bit heavier. Kinda like. So it might trouble you some timing with some other things. But. Other than that, also you only being the first game you only have Buster. As it will be in Mega Man 1, 2, and the recent ones that Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10 doesn't have Mega Buster nor slide. So anyways, starting this is a very fun game. I really recommend for the ones who haven't tried Mega Man games to at least try to Oh hi there please. To, to have this one. It's really fun, it's really awesome. Another thing that it can be I found about this stages are harder, way harder than Robot Masters. I don't know why. But Robot Masters in this game with their weapons are terribly easy because well I won't say why, you will see later. So yeah. I'm scoring points for useless things, and that's also another thing that the music is very awesome for its time, it was outstanding. Yeah. Well, what is it? Well, and well, the story behind this game it's it's very it's very amusing. Another thing, but overall. It was KG Sinafune like tribute to Astro Boy 2. I don't know if that's true, but it kinda looks like an Hey! Hey! Let me alone, Pac-Man! Die! Anyways, let's start with the actual commentary and not the start of the game. Also. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh! Oh god, I thought. Well, anyways. So those enemies are kind annoying because you only can hit them when they open on, of course. There is the worst enemy of any Mega Man game you know, the spikes. There are two big enemies in this game, the spikes and the big eyes. The big eyes can get up a third of your energy bar, so if, you, if they touch them, try not to touch them. Try to avoid them at all costs and turn the other thing that it really 
really, it really pissed me off is that they were very random, so you don't really stand a chance against those things. See? That's how much damage they do. It's unfair, because they're random and you don't know how to... How to avoid them, so when you, if you defeat Iceman, do yourself a favor and use Ice Washer against those things. Please, do it. Oh shit. Also, this is in the first Mega Man, we don't have just only a little door that separated us. It was a long corridor, it could be vertical or horizontal. And well, here's the road master. Hey Catman! Catman is very easy. It's very easy if you don't screw it up. And if you have health. Unlike me. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. I, I, uh, I lost. I died. What the fuck? So yeah, let's do this again. Cadmon, it's a very easy boss. It doesn't so problematic. One, he's weak to your Buster. Two, he can only shot once. Just get out of the way of the cut. And you're fine. Also, he likes to jump around. So he's a very very easy boss, and there we go. Dead. Dead. Yay. And uh, unlike other Mega Man games, you must have to grab that thingy that fell from the from the swing so you can complete the game. To be honest, a lot of things here got scrapped away during the game. Anyways, because of the intro, this video is a bit long, I might try to, to do two stages in the next one. So, thanks for watching! And yeah, um, how often I'm going to upload this, it might be more often than the Metroid videos. I'm sure of that. Anyways, thanks for watching.